so let's review how to set up a tile set and create a complete room. First in the sprites I have added a sprite pill which is 8x8, eight eight, origin point is centered. I've created a sprite power pill which is 16x16, 16 16, also centered. I've created a sprite barrier and this is going to go across the gap that covers the ghost house preventing our Pac-Man from going inside the ghost house but allowing the ghosts to come out. But it will also prevent them from going back inside. So this is 44 by 32, origin point is centered, and I've modified the mask so that it covers the full image because if you just select automatic it only covers the little bar. We want the full thing. I've also created objects from those sprites. When object pill, which is just visible and not solid. The object power pill is pretty much the same, but it uses the object pill as its parent. And then finally the object barrier, which we are keeping is visible and solid, but I've set it to a depth of 10 so that it will appear below the ghosts as they cross over but we're also going to use this as our parent to our wall. So let's close this and reopen the object wall and then for its parent set the object barrier. And the reason we're doing it this way is so that when we create a collision event with our player and the barrier it will prevent the player from moving through both the barrier and the wall. But when we check for the ghost collision we'll be able to specify only the wall and leave the barrier for some other action. That way the ghosts can actually pass through it. So let's close this and reopen the object player as well. And with our object wall collision, we're just going to change that to a collision with the object barrier instead. And then finally to help set up our room, I have created a background called BG Tile Set. I have checked the box to use as a tile set, and I've set the tiles to a width of 32 by 32. And I have a lot more tiles here than in the previous game because I'm taking into account the end caps for all directions, corner pieces for all directions, T-junctions for all directions, a four-way junction, and the vertical and horizontal walls. And so to review how to set up a room using the tile sets, I've created a sample room here. And to get access to the tile set, we come to the Tiles tab and you just select the one you want and place it down. Now you have to be careful here though because the tile set has an origin point up in the top left corner whereas our objects have a center point which means that they will not line up if you use a 32 by 32 grid. So what I recommend you do instead is place at least one object in the room and then change your grid to 16 by 16 and then that way with your tile selected you can arrange it so that it will actually be in alignment and even here I'm off-center because it's not going all the way up so find a corner piece and move everything accordingly and then it should all line up so I'm gonna close this one and just delete the room because I have already set up my first level one and I've already placed in all of the wall objects as well as the pills and the power pills and one Pac-Man object. I put the barrier across the ghost house and to see the tile set below we can come up here to this magnifying glass with the drop down menu and I can uncheck show objects and it will show me everything beneath. And so I've set up the room pretty much like the original Pac-Man layout. Of course, you can set up your room to look however you want, but to get it to fit in perfectly, I've had to reshape the size of the room. So my room is actually 640 by 704. If you're using 32 by 32 tiles and you don't want to use these dimensions, it's important to make sure that these are at least a multiple of 32. That way you can get all of your grid lines to match up and you'll have full 32 by 32 squares. So I'm just going to turn on all my objects again. 
and I'm going to close the room. I'm going to reopen my object wall and turn off visible, and then I'll test the game. So, you should be able to move around your maze and not get stuck. If we move up here to the ghost house, you can see that I can't go inside of it now because it is checking for the barrier as a wall, and I can go through these chutes and come out the other side. So let's move on to the next part of the game.